Good morning. It's, I don't know, it's got to be about ten past midnight now. My clock up there says 1.28 and I know that's a little bit fast. I'm going to say a little bit fast, it's just over an hour. Just over an hour fast. What the fuck did I just knock off? Something that's... Oh, that's alright. Nothing serious. I scared Nemo though, bless him. That scared me as well, because I didn't realise I was going to do that. Right. I'm actually a little bit peckish. Um, so I'm going to put some jacket spuds in. I can do that, can't I? Stop, let's get a clock set. I usually start it at 30 minutes, but uh, I probably wouldn't. Probably won't have these on for 30 minutes because then I'm going to take that. Stuff me. Well, it's either jacket potatoes or I could do beetles. No, I'm going to stick with the spuds. Stick with the spuds. Right, whoa. That was a little bit too big. Oh, excuse me. Just turn it away. Oh. No, a friend of mine's got an electric radio controlled car. Not one of your cheapy little toy ones, one of your big hobby grade ones. Um, and he bought it over a couple of days ago. Um, he just wanted me to show him what the charger did because it's got not a standard charger that you just plug the battery in. It's a balanced charger because it's got a LiPo battery on it. Um, but anyway. And... He asked if I had any LEDs, you know, a couple of red ones to go on the back and a couple of white for the front. So he could see it when he's driving it around town at night on the dark car parks and whatnot. So, yeah, we found him to sum up, fitted those, off he went. And I get a message tonight saying, can I pop up later? I said, yeah, and I gave him a time, I think it was about 7.30. So that's what, to get something to eat and whatnot. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he brought it up here and he went, I had a bit of an accident. I was like, yeah, he went, a bit of a big accident. <laughs> I said, what happened? He said, I was just driving it along normally and I couldn't see a hedge. He said, the hedge wasn't very high, it was only a matter of inches off the ground you know it's just like a little shrub basically he couldn't see it in the dark because I have to admit the LEDs we stuck on were actually quite shit but he couldn't see it anyway and just full pelt straight into it and uh, broke the front wheel it broke well on a real car it would be the um, track rod well I did break it off it popped off and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Uh, because it was so dark, he couldn't find it. That could have shot anywhere, so we actually did make a replacement. I don't know how well it's worked. But I did get a message on Facebook again saying, uh, <coughs> saying I just got in, other wheel fell off. <laughs> I think I might know why the guy was um, okay to swap it. Because my friend did have a, um, you know, one of them nitrous powered ones. Then he swapped for this electric one. The electric ones tend to sell for more. I don't know why, but apparently they sell for more. You know, it will have a greater value. So... I thought that was a bit weird that the guy would swap for it, but <laughs> maybe that's why. Got to keep full bits. And start. Oops. 
close up of the palm of my hand. Yeah, I'm still full of cold. Um, I still haven't got many further with my little radio down here. I think it's just a case of uh, getting a good earth, a good aerial, and trying it at the right time of day. Because as I said before, AM is a bit, yeah, <laughs> bit hit and miss round here. Oh, right. So move my chair in. Uh, I'm putting some new lights up here. As you I'm sure I told you on this channel, I've got or did have fluorescent versions of these fluorescent tubes. Um, I got some Crimbo money today, and I found this in Lidl's. I thought I'd try it. This is an LED one. And uh, it actually works a lot better than the, uh... <coughs> Fine, hell. Than the fluorescent ones, so... The only problem is I only had enough money for one, so I've got to hope. They did have plenty in there today, and I can't imagine anyone's going to be eager to buy them. Especially given the time of year it is, so I'm hoping that Thursday they will still have plenty there, so I can go and get another one to put up this end. Because uh, I did put those fluorescent ones up there as a temporary measure until Lidl got these uh, LED versions in. I actually wondered why they still make the fluorescent ones, to be honest, and they're just getting rid of old stock. But that's the first time in ages Lidl have had them in, so I'm hoping I can I can go get one. That's why what? Well, I thought. I'll nab one while I can, just to see if they are brighter or, you know, if they do match this one. It's actually an eight and a half watt LED light up there. So probably the equivalent, well, roughly the equivalent to 40, 50 watt filament bulb-ish. So plenty bright enough up there. I've just got to remember not to do what I did before. Don't worry, got an itch there, I'm not picking my nose. When I had the fluorescent ones up there, I had one silver, one white one, because I didn't think to look at the box. <laughs> so that's why I had one of each colour up there. So I've got to remember, as I've got a white one, to check the box and make sure I get another white one, because I <coughs> do the same with these, you get the two colour choices. But, uh, they're designed for under cabinet, like kitchen cabinets. Um, you can put them under there. Uh, which I might very well do at some point. Um, but you can do, they're quite versatile. You can um, daisy chain them together as well. I don't know how many. There is usually a limit to how many. But that'll only be down to, you know, current drawer and whatnot. You don't want to exceed the um, amps. That's how you start fires, because that's when things start overheating. <coughs> right. Well, I'll read that manual later. I did keep that. I wasn't going to, but I thought, yeah, I suppose I should. <laughs> You know, just in case sort of thing. Not that I'm going to like daisy chain a hundred of them together. But two I know is perfect. But I wouldn't want to go too many like I said. My cough is not too bad until I start talking. Then my throat gets scratchy, then I start talking. Um, start talking. Start coughing, not talking. <coughs> One thing I have noticed, I do tend to ramble when I've got the camera on. That's something I very rarely do in person.
Right. Now, I've put my little um, Roberts RC15 radio on here because I wanted one of my old radios down here. I have, I've wanted that for a while, but even though <clears throat> I repaired the tape deck on this by replacing the belts, I forgot to do the antenna while I was in there, so I had a very loose connection. <laughs> All it was was just there's a screw in the back here, as you can see. That holds the antenna in place and there's a little wire that goes between the case and the antenna that basically makes contact with the antenna and then runs to the circuitry. But because the antenna was flopping all over the place because the screw wouldn't tighten properly, I think it was the wrong may have been the wrong screw or something. Um it wasn't making connection with the wire, so I was getting a very intermittent signal. <coughs> So, um, yeah, I fixed that last night, so that's now a fully working little device. So I'm happy with that, I've just got to plug it in, but I haven't, <clears throat> haven't got enough sockets down the back there. I think I put a three-way extension socket down there in my infinite wisdom, because I thought I only needed it for the clock and the fan and the light. Now I want to put that there, so I'm going to have to change that, that's not a biggie. I've got plenty of extension outlets. I'm sure I can find one. Uh, oh, as for the lights that were above the Lego bench, there's one. I was going to put one of them up there. You know, shine down. So when I'm working or playing up here, I've got a bit of light because. Uh, I don't really want to go screwing lights to the I mean, I could easily screw a light to the ceiling, you know, and use a bit of trunking and to hide the cable up. But I don't really want to, because I think it's just going to look too untidy. So, I figured I'd put one of those just on the front of that shelf. May have to move my 1980s circuit board there. I just like how it looked. I couldn't bring myself to throw it out or dismantle it. I just loved the quality of the layout, the quality of how it was all built and put together. You very rarely see that these days unless you're buying something very expensive, you know, something electronic that's very expensive. But uh, that's why a lot of cheap electronics are cheap because they don't put as much effort into it. But that just looks great to me. Quality work on that board. I don't know if anyone knows, but I've got another Roberts radio up there. My smiling one, which I mentioned in video number five of my um, hobbies video. I've still got another one that I want to do of a smaller interest, which isn't really... Well, I don't really collect anything for it. It's more of something that, you know, no, I do online. No, it's not really a fandom or anything. <clears throat> it's something um, to do with the fire service, actually. Right, those spuds are not very big, so I don't want to forget about them. No. One of them's actually split. <laughs> it has actually when I did some of these the other day, one split. <coughs> uh, I was coughing like this when I had a friend here, because I was talking. And then it went quiet, hardly coughed. Then mum rang, coughed. Now I'm talking to you, coughed. <coughs> uh, I'm going over to mum's New Year's Day. I was going to go over tomorrow, but... They wanted me to stay tomorrow night and the way I've been feeling with all this cold and the sinuses and whatnot, I really don't feel like sleeping over. And uh, I've had enough of getting, you know, very little sleep lately, so <clears throat> I'll go over Monday. I nearly said Tuesday, it'll be Monday. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, all my Christmas decorations have been taken down as well. Now I put mine up at sort of like the start of December, so 
relatively early. Not as early as some people did, I noticed on Facebook, but relatively early. And I just, because I do that, I tend to take them down usually just a few days after Christmas. I think it's the fact, you know, that the buzz is over and done with as well. You know, <laughs> you got, Christmas Day has been done with, you know, the best day. So, you, apart from those lights that I forgot about up there, <laughs> that I still haven't taken down yet. <clears throat> I'm going to take some measurements for a few things. I want my stepdad to uh, do the um, homemade bookcase for all my pony stuff. Uh, and I want him to cut the bits of wood so I can raise this table and make a manhole in this corner. So I'm going to cut a section out of it and uh, that'll be my little pop-up hole so I can uh, reach everything over there. A friend of mine said, why don't I just have a slot going at the back there so I could get up this corner as well. But I can actually reach here down this side from where I am or at that end. So it's more so I want it there so I can reach over the back where the train is. <clears throat> um, especially as I've got fencing and what not to do along there. So many bits still to buy. I don't know if I'll <clears throat> ever... Ooh, just cleared my throat and let one go at the same time. But uh, anyway. Yeah, where was I? Oh yeah. So many bits still to buy. I mean, there's still so much wooden table. Visible. Or at least most of it probably got like two-thirds of it covered at the moment if I can get the rest of it um, at least over the back there done so I need to I want to concentrate on that but uh, I've been in the mood for buying road lamps lately so I've got four of those to buy um, fellow collector is keeping hold of them for me I was or I had the opportunity to pay for them this week, earlier this week. Problem is, this cold came up. So I had to uh, chip into those funds to get some stuff for this cold. So that threw a spanner in the works. It was either that or, you know, suffer miserably and not sleep at all. <laughs> but uh, he's kindly keeping them till... Thursday, when I next get paid. Thursday in the new year. Um, I'll buy these ones. And no doubt, <clears throat> in the future, there'll prob prob probably be some more. So, no doubt, I'll buy some more. Uh, the problem is, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do when the end of this shelf... I was going the wrong way. When the end of the shelf gets filled up. The BT lamp can actually come down from there because that's a duplicate anyway. Um, so, trades and swapsies sort of thing. Cause I, I know I said I like having doubles, but one of the reasons is if anyone did want to trade, I've then got a, you know something I can offer. <laughs> Or sell, I'd sell it for a few quid as well. Actually, that's not fair because I got it for free, so I wouldn't sell it, but I just realised this one's got the bolt in it. <laughs> I don't think the other one up there's got the bolt in it. Yeah. But I would trade it definitely. So that and the tractor will come down from there. And there is one sort of lamp that I do want to get um, as well. And that's a paraffin lamp and it's by um, Dorman. It's one I've wanted for ages. I actually wanted one when I was a little kid. When I first saw one still being used on the road. 
that would have been that would have had to have been around sort of well the area I saw it we moved to in 1989 so it would have been around that time when I would have been about eight years old seven or eight years old I just remember looking out of the car windows we pulled up at the corner shop and there's some roadworks and there it sat and uh, considering how long electric ones had been produced before that it was actually now that I look back I'm surprised it was still being used you know, was... no. you know I actually thought for a moment there I tripped over a plate or something oh that one's done that one's done just do that but I don't have a plate clean <clears throat> yeah. The cold is getting better. I did have a better night's sleep last night. I'm feeling a bit chirpier now because, uh, like I said, I've... No, I didn't say, did I? I've actually had some uh, painkillers and whatnot. I'm losing track of what I've said and what I haven't said now. I'll probably be awake for another hour or so, so I thought, yeah, I can get something to eat. I don't like going to bed too soon after I've eaten, because that used to give me hellish heart heartburn. And uh, in some cases, um, that one's not quite done. Ow. That one is, that one isn't. Oh. I think two of them are, two of them are. Right, yeah. That's hot. So is that bastard. Uh, well, I might as well <coughs> chat to you while I wait for these. This is the second microwave I've had since I've lived here. And this is one... Mum actually had this one. My old one, it just... It would work as it is now, but wouldn't heat anything up. So, you know, the guts in it that heats things up had just quit. So it would turn on, the light would come on, it'd make all its humming noise and whatnot and rotate, but it wasn't cooking anything. This knife I'm using is rather blunt, don't you? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hang on. I can't turn your back because I've got a runny nose. Let me just sort that out. <laughs> I didn't think you'd appreciate me doing that on camera. Cola tomorrow because I'm on my last bottle. And I actually thought <clears throat> my sugars would have been all over the shop because I've got this cold, but I did a finger prick test last night and they were 7.1, which is damn good for a diabetic. Damn good. Although I had literally just eaten, so they would have crept up a little bit, but I didn't have anything really sugary, so they wouldn't have crept up that much. Maybe eight and a half, nine. I don't know what the measurement is, but that's what we use over here. I can't remember that we're looking at all the booklets and things. But for someone who isn't diabetic, normal should be around about five. So if you're not diabetic and I did the finger prick test on you before you've eaten, it should be around about 5, maybe 5.5, something like that. <clears throat> and then go up to like 6, 6.5 after you've eaten a meal. That's including perhaps having a dessert with it as well. Um, 
und dann ist der oben. So, yeah, I was actually quite pleased with it. I've done it a few times lately, and the highest measurement I've got is nine and a half, I believe it was. 9.5, give or take. I can't remember, it might have been a little bit more than that, but still, less than 10 is um, good. Still not brilliant, but good. Um, so proves that the pills I take are actually working. So I know for a fact if I weren't taking those pills my sugars would actually be through the roof. Um, I was just trying to think. When I um, went to the doctor for a... it was a um, water infection actually. And they... Um, <coughs> Well, she noticed the very high level of sugar in my urine. That's what was, you know, that's what gave her the suspicion. Bloody good doctor. Bloody good doctor. I guarantee you could have gone to some others and they would have just, you know, not bothered with the high sugar content. But she spied it. Had me tested. I did the finger prick test and my sugars were nearly 20, which was fucking bad. I had no idea. I was, you know, just drinking and eating normally. I had a very bad thirst, which I actually thought was odd. But again, you don't think nothing of it, really. You wouldn't have thought that, you know, anything wrong. You're just like, yeah, well, I'm a bit thirsty. I'll drink. <coughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, if you're getting thirsty, it doesn't necessarily mean you're diabetic. It could mean anything, but, you know, you could be a little bit dehydrated or just naturally thirsty. My stepdad is dreadful in that... Uh, <laughs> You'll see the stuff he'll eat. And then he'll take his sugars and they'll be like, well above, or 30. 30 and above. And then he'll be like, I feel like shit. Well, it's your fault. <laughs> <clears throat> Just like it's my fault when I do it. I don't blame anyone else and I never ask for sympathy either. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here, I think. Take that with me. Plonk those on there. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you have a good New Year's Eve and a new year. Happy New Year. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.